New 2018 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross, Official Pictures and Fresh Details The Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross SUV will make its debut at Geneva, and will rival the Nissan Qashqai when it goes sale in early 2018. Mitsubishi is preparing a fresh challenger in the ultra-competitive crossover section with a new rival for the likes of the Nissan Qashqai. Called the Eclipse Cross, the car is set to make its full debut at the 2017 Geneva Motor Show next week, but Mitsubishi has now revealed the first pictures of its new small SUV as well as fresh specifications and a UK release window. The Eclipse name will be especially recognizable to North American buyers. Over there it was the name of a popular two-door coupe and convertible that was axed back in 2012. Mitsubishi has used the name for its new small SUV to draw parallels between the two cars referencing the new model's coupe-like shape and promised sporty driving experience. Mitsubishi's design team has penned a small SUV with a chiseled, angular nose, a sloping roofline and a rising should airline, while the steeply raked rear window sports a chunky rear spoiler and a second lip housing a long one-piece rear lead tail light setup. While we've yet to see the cabin, Mitsubishi promises a horizontal interior design language with a silver metal and black color scheme. A tablet-like infotainment display fitted with Mitsubishi's smartphone link display software is found inside, supporting Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A touchpad controller is included as a second way to navigate the car's infotainment offerings, while a head-up display is included for the driver. UK engine specs have yet to be finalized, but we know the Eclipse Cross will be available with a 1.5-liter four-cylinder turbo petrol engine, driven in pre-production form below, plus a 2.2-liter diesel engine at launch. Four-wheel drive and an optional automatic transmission will be offered when it goes on sale in the UK early in 2018, as well as an optional CVT transmission on the 1.5-liter engine. Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross SUV, Prototype Review Mitsubishi is on a roll. The incredible success of the Outlander FEV SUV has seen it emerge as the fastest growing brand in the UK for the past three years. Yet its overall sales still trail mainstream rivals by some way. So Mitsubishi is turning to the booming crossover class with an all-new seat Ateca and Nissan Qashqai rival. The finished car is still several months away, but Auto Express got exclusive access to a development prototype of the Eclipse Cross to find out how it's shaping up. Despite the heavy disguise of our car, it's clear the high-riding machine will have looks on its side. Mitsubishi claims the car's styling is closely based on the stunning XR concept that wowed crowds at 2015's Geneva Motor Show, and looking past the camouflage, it's easy to see the same sloping roofline and chiseled nose. As our exclusive main image and the new teaser shots reveal, the model's rakish coupe-like lines should give it the same visual impact as Toyota's equally daring CHR. The disguise extended to the interior, but Mitsubishi has worked just as hard here. Pre-production materials hide a neatly sculpted dash design with a new infotainment system. We saw a car with a new BMW-style tablet setup, it had crisp graphics, the latest apps and a responsive touch screen. Just as importantly, it feels spacious inside, with cash K levels of legroom. And while our car's panoramic roof ate into rear headroom, there was still enough for most adults. So it's roomy and should look the part, but how does the Mitsubishi drive? We hit the road in a version with a new 1.5-liter turbo petrol that had a CVT box and four-wheel drive. The firm's existing 2.2-liter diesel will be available, plus there will be a six-speed manual and front-drive options. A shortened Outlander platform underpins the car, but extra reinforcement and new materials make it lighter and stronger. It also has a sophisticated multi-link rear axle, most rivals get a cheaper torsion beam. There's a faster steering rack as well, and this is the first thing you notice on the move. It's well-weighted and precise, so even on our version's winter tires the Mitsubishi is easy to place on the road. Like the Ateca, the ride is firm at low speed, but up the pace and this means strong body control and composure. It settles down well on the motorway, too.
Our car's handling in wintry weather was enhanced by its electronically controlled SOC all-wheel drive. A development of the rally-bred Lancer Evo set UPS, this shuffles torque to the wheel and axle with most grip. The new four-cylinder engine is designed to deliver the sharp throttle response of a just 1,500 RPM, for an eager feel off the line, plus it's smooth and refined. It gets harsh if extended, but you needn't do this often due to the mid-range muscle. Official figures have yet to be revealed for the unit, but project manager Hiroyuki Kagawa suggested it would deliver around 120 bhp and 200 nm of torque. As it stands, the CVT looks a weakness. It shuffles its seven virtual ratios smoothly at low speed, but struggles if pushed, sending revs soaring and responding to the steering paddles lazily. There's a surging sensation when you hold a steady throttle at around 30 miles per hour, too. Yet Kagawa assured us the box still needed some calibration work. Verdict Our drive shows the new Mitsubishi has real potential. If it looks as good as our image suggests, the cabin is up to scratch and the niggles are cured, this agile crossover could outstrip the brand's current successes. Mitsubishi's juke rival is coming, too. The prototype driven here is the start of Mitsubishi's new SUV offensive. Next in line will be a Nissan Juke rival, based on the X concept and due in 2019. This compact crossover is designed to bolster the brand's F credentials, and will be offered with a pure electric drivetrain with a 150 mile plus range. A year or so later there will be a new Outlander, inspired by 2016's Paris Show Fev concept. There are also plans to bring the L200 pickup-based Shogun Sport here this year.